take out all the ones that it hits. I will say that I can't wait to see for them to uh, actually show the fireball blast itself, uh, just because that's such a fun effect. Oh, stop throwing javelins, you dorks. Ah. Whee! Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I'll let her take it out. Javelins. Oh, yeah, that's one of the downsides of... Oh, nice. Oh, I hope it didn't screw anything up. Yes, good. Nice. She has spells! Oh, I hit someone. I think it was her. soon, so I'm going to have to uh, make sure that I uh, uh, 
cover spells before I go in there. Let's cast another snake charm. Let's let's cast an uh, ice storm actually. Oh well, the front row. That's always good. Let's go with that. Oh good, should take them all out. Well, all that it hits, I mean. So go with that one. used one fireball. <clears throat> okay, let's see what's in this, excuse me, through this door. You enter a room with piles of treasure and a large shimmering box. The Lizard King is here with most of his men. What do you do? I could talk, but I want to attack. It's more fun that way. You attack! Who wants a fireball to the face? Ooh, there's a Lizard King. 36 hit points. I like that icon. That's a pretty cool icon. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh good, that'll take out all the snakes it hits too. There goes the Lizard King. Poor little Lizard King. Yeah, let's go ahead and use my Wand of Magic Missiles again. Yay! And there we go. All done. Oh, such a tough battle. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it or not. Party has found treasure. Oh. Gems and jewelry. Eyes. Ew, we plucked out the Lizard King's eyes. And a necklace. The ring of tear glows brighter than it ever has before, and you are attracted to the shimmering box, like a moth to a candle. As you get closer to the box, the ring glows even brighter. You touch the box with the ring, before you even realize you were that close. The shimmering wall explodes, throwing you to the floor. Aldous hit for 9 points of damage, Crow is hit for 8 points of damage, Island Wee is hit for 9 points of damage, Elmandred is hit for 9 points of damage. Elohim is hit for 8 points of damage, and Moonshadow is hit for 15? Jeez. I took more damage from that box than I did from, the, from like, all the previous battles. When you look up, you see a female human fighter wielding a silver sword. My name is Vala. She, she states in you, record her story as journal entry 63. You know what? 
I've hit 15 minutes, so um, you're gonna have to uh, wait until the um, uh, next episode to uh, for me to hear her story. And I'll say that her uh, pool of radiance portrait looks a lot better, although this portrait is <laughs> much better than the portraits you got in the uh, pool of radiance. Um, uh, such a big difference. Okay. Anyway, um, I shall uh, uh, see you all in the next episode. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. Uh, once again, I'm Ald Dragon, and um, I'm about to read you uh, journal entry 63, Vala's story. The Amazonian woman collapses as she steps down from the shattered prison. As you rush to help her, as you rush to help, her eyes flutter open and she moans, Who are you? Where am I? After you explain what you know and she has revived, she growls, The Legion will pay. They have left me in prison for three hundred years. Wow, she's older than Moonshadow. <clears throat> Since the great battles, they captured me and imprisoned me in that shimmering cage. So the war over the Dreadlord continues to this day. My vows compel me to continue this battle. I am Vala of the Silver Blades, and I will aid you in this war. Sweet. We have a semi-permanent NPC for the rest of the game. Yay! And one who is none too uh, shabby on the eyes, either. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, she asks if she can join your party. What do you do? Hell yeah! The ring of tear glows warm, uh, uh, warmly glows, and a piece of wood glows in answer. You have found a piece of the staff of Oswulf. Congratulations! The party gains experience. Uh, she is thirteenth level, has way more experience than any of us. Well, not way more, but I mean, considering that I changed classes for uh, Ald and Crow, but they still don't, they don't have a million yet. Whereas Elmandretta, who has not changed, is only at a million one, a million one, and, well, something like that. So, uh, doo -doo -doo. she has a chainmail plus one, a silver longsword plus three, and a silver shield plus three. Why she was not equipped with the silver shield, I don't know. Um... She has max natural strength. Um, she has intelligence of 15, wisdom 13, and dexterity, con constitution, charisma of 18. Yeah, she didn't modify her stats at all. No. And 100 hit points. So, um, she will definitely be a uh, useful addition to the party. Uh, let me go ahead and camp and fix... Um, oh, she is only a fighter, so, uh, unfortunately, but, uh, eh, that's not too bad. Um, let's get my spells back. she will be uh, up front and able to actually fight. Um, I do have a magical bow that I'm going to go ahead and give her when I get back to town, and I might as well give her some of the arrows, although I'm probably not going to actually equip them, since that usually means that... Uh, well, actually, no. If, uh, she's in the front row. It shouldn't uh, matter too much. She'll still fight. Um, let's go ahead and go back to town. So, uh, 
Oops, I did not want to go to the surface. Yes, I want to go to the temple. I reach the temple level. Yay! I'm going to pause it while I get back to town. Alright, I'm back in town. I'm outside of the, uh, um, the vault, so let's go ahead and go in. And, um, let's see what I got. Alright, a stone of good luck, so I'll go ahead and equip that. I'll deposit the plate mail and the spear. I will uh, join these, and I will trade them to Ellie. <coughs> um, go ahead and deposit the chain mail plus one, the ring of protection plus one. I got a necklace of missiles, so I'll give that to uh, Ellie, uh, Min. Uh, Eyes of Charming, I might as well give to Min as well. I think she can use them. I gotta remember, I gotta make sure that I don't give Vala anything, because you can't get it back. Although, I do have a way by cheating, editing her character. So, uh, worst, con worst case scenario, um, I'll make her controllable. <laughs> oh, well, I've got a necklace of missiles already. Um, okay, I'll give that to Island Wee. It's ready the Eyes of Charming. Uh, ready the necklace of missiles. Ready that and that. Okay. And. Okay, she has already. Um, so she's chainmail plus three. Um, I want to get that replaced. Uh, she's got a silver shield plus three and a silver longsword plus three. Uh, I don't think the silver longsword plus three does anything additional. But the silver shield plus three acts like a mirror, which is really nice. Um, it would be really nice to have one myself, but um, the chainmail plus three is bland and boring, so um, actually, you know what, let's see, uh, ooh, I can, oh sweet, I can deposit it, <laughs> that's awesome, I don't have to worry about it. Alright, first I think I'll take uh, 255 arrows. Uh, what the heck, I'll, I'll take a lot of spare arrows. She's likely to go through them. Oh, overloaded. Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's... Alright, let's um, deposit those. That's better. Okay, um... I've got a magical bow here somewhere. Oh, I do have bracers AC4. Okay. Um, yes, short bow. Plus one. Okay. Um, banded mail plus two. Chain mail plus three, I think, are roughly equivalent. That would be roughly equivalent to plate mail plus one. So let's see if I have plate mail plus two in here. see anything. Okay. Alright. Better take her uh, yeah, chainmail plus three back. Okay. Um, in which case, is there anything else that I want to uh, take? Not for her, though. Um, for Moonshadow, I think I'll... Let's see. I've got the... That, uh, the Bracer's AC4. Should have a ring of protection plus two in here somewhere. There's a ring of protection plus two. There it is. I'll take that. Okay, so she's currently negative three, so I'm gonna equip that. And equip that and that. Ah, negative four. Okay, that's good. Well, let's go ahead and deposit that. And you know what? I will trade that to Vala. And I think we might be good to go. Ready that and that and that. Okay. Okay. Let's go check the train hall.
because she's already ready to become a 14th level fighter. Wow. Ooh, 13th level cleric. Ooh, 13th level mage. Sweet. Uh, let's go with the... Uh, not with that death spell. Okay. I'm almost tempted to have Vala change classes, just because... Just a fighter? Yeah, maybe make her a paladin. Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... Actually, let me uh, scribe some spells. spell. Okay. Hmm. I'm actually going to pause it while I uh, regain my spells and stuff like that, so uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, and we're back. Alright, um, one interesting thing that I wanted to show you. Um, you can do display and then it'll show you your current magical effects. Um, as you can see, all protected from evil, because he's a paladin. Excuse me. Fire resistant from ring. Uh, wearing magical boots. Carrying magical stone. Crow is immune to disease. That's because of the perioptive health. Uh, not that, I mean, it, it's one of the more useless items in the game. I mean, uh, other than mummies and the occasional cleric that might have caused disease. Yeah, it doesn't really do much good. But Vala sees invisible. How the heck does she see invisible? That's not fair. I want to be able to see invisible without a spell. Um, Ellie is wearing magical cloak, and Moonshadow is wearing magical cloak and invisible ring. So, <coughs> there you have it. Um, it's kind of neat. Let's go ahead and save it. And, uh, we'll get back to, um, delving deep into the mines. And we'll get back to the uh, temple, of course. And what level of the mine do I want to go to? I can't remember. Oh yeah, seven. Ooh, seven has some good stuff on it. Seven. Okay. Okay. Uh, first things first. Uh, West has nothing. Um, East has one thing, but it also comes to North, which has nothing. So let's go ahead and go this way. Uh, this is where, if you take this, you will get to that. You can circle around to the North Passage. Uh, I'm not going to do that because this is straightforward, and I'm just going to steal these gems from these boxes. Ooh, yay, gems. Go ahead and not take the wheel lift. So, so it's kind of weird because the higher levels, it's like uh, there's you know, stuff all over the place, and uh, the lower you get, the less there seems to be. Uh, I, don't, I don't really get it. Whatever. It makes it easier for me. Um, okay, so I'm not going to go that way because there is nothing that way. Um, I think I'll go this way. There is one thing along here, and I do not want to fight them. There we go. Humber Hulks, yay. They attack. Oh, yeah, and uh, you can see Vala's icon. Some rather skimpy armor there. I'll go ahead and cast my uh, usual. I have another fireball. Yay! Oh, actually, you know what? Maybe I should ditch one of these ice storms or something. I'll do that later. See if there's anything worthwhile. I mean, I, I actually, uh, I, w 
I was thinking about uh, going for the dimension door, but I'm not sure that I really want my straight mage dimension dooring. I don't mind uh, moon shadow since. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, I guess I'll sit back here and peg them with arrows. Since she's also a fighter, but um, yeah, my my mage not so much. Not good. Glad you moved in for the kill. Oh, come on. Cut that out. Thank you, Vala. Oh, shoot. Oh, well, at least they count, it as, count her as an uh, ally, not an enemy. Uh, phew, military pick. Great. Fumble doesn't really do any good. Um, I, I ditched a minor globe of invulnerability because I've got six level spells and a regular globe of invulnerability. Uh, Bestow Curse doesn't do any good. Um, so really Charm Monsters is the only thing, and I think I'll stick with uh, Ice Storm for now. Okay, so really, there, if we continued down that, we'd eventually find another one of those, uh, you know, a lot of empty rooms, and also a uh, uh, dig for buried gems. Uh, but, you know, again, those are so not worth it. <sighs> really are not. Okay, let's go south. There's dripping water from a crack in the wall. Oh no, it's going to collapse. Okay, there is nothing to the east there, so let's go south, and we get more Umpalks. And let's give them a nice uh, visit from my friend, Mr. Fireball. Oh, let's let, nah, let's let them meet Mr. Ice Storm too. either. I feel ripped off. At least she attacks twice. Keep going. Yes. Yay. Shield plus one. Okay. Um, so let's continue on. And let's go east. Oh, Minotaurs. I don't want to fight you. This room is filled with storage boxes. I find treasure. Gems. Yay, we fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't want to fight random encounters of wyverns. Oh, what now? No, I don't want to fight you. Alright, let's go west this time. Beefy 
switching up the random encounters, and yet we're still encountering stupid minotaurs. <laughs> there is signs of a recent battle between a magic user and some umber hulks. There's a dead black circle mage stuffed in the corner of the room. What do you do? Let's search him. I find treasure, yay! <coughs> Quarter staff, bracers, potion, potion. Okay. Potion, <coughs> wand, 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 ring. Gems and jewelry. But, oh no, Umber Hulk's return as you were searching the body. They attack! Say hello to my good friend, Fireball. And his other friend, Fireball, too. I can't wait till I uh, get to uh, introduce you to your even better friend, Delayed Blast Fireball. <coughs> wow, that's a lot of Umber Hawks. I'm glad I decided to cast a Fireball and not a Ice Storm. Yay! <coughs> Probably shouldn't have moved him in there. No, oh, that that'll work. It's one of the nice things about the uh, four square enemies is that it's a lot easier to uh, hit them. And boy, am I over time! So I'm going to stop it and uh, we'll pick it up in the next episode. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Secret of the Silver Blades. Once again, I'm Alt Dragon. I just finished up the uh, battle with the Umber Hulks, um, of which Vala just like waded through them at the end. Um, <clears throat> I guess she like moved last in one turn, then moved first in the second, and just like you know, just completely slaughtered them. Uh, after I f weakened them with fireballs, of course. The ring of tear warmly glows, and a piece of wood glows in answer. You have found a piece of the staff of Oswulf. Yay! Congratulations, party gains experience. Uh, let's fix, save, uh, okay. No. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to take a look at... Uh, I think she can gain, Moonshadow can gain one more mage level. Uh, 